Hi, Rama. It's week 50, day two of our Bible narrative reading plan. Today we are in the book of Ephesians, uh, starting in chapter 5, verse 18, going through uh, the end of chapter 6, verse 20. And uh, as we've already mentioned, this week's uh, reading focuses on the Christian life. What does it look like to live as a Christian, even as we're being shaped by God's big story? And Paul uh, is speaking to us here in the book of Ephesians. Overall, let me just give you a little background on it. Uh, he, he spends the first half of this book telling us about who we are in Christ. So chapters one through three are just beautiful passages telling us about what God has done for us. And then chapter four begins with the word, therefore. Because of everything we've seen in chapters one through three, therefore, this is how we should live. And particularly here in verse uh, five, chapter 5, verse 18, uh, through the end of the book, he's giving a picture of the Spirit-filled life. And so chapter 5, verse 18 tells us we're not to be filled with wine. Instead, we're to be filled with the Spirit. So what does it look like to live a, a Holy Spirit-filled life? Uh, we are indwelt by the Holy Spirit at the moment of our conversion. We're never going to lose the Holy Spirit. But there are certainly times when we are filled with the Spirit. And uh, this isn't some uh, wild, outlandish happening. This comes about as we're filled with the Word of God. And so you see here, uh, verse, uh, verse 19, 20, and 21, uh, Paul's talking about the corporate life of what does a Spirit-filled life uh, look like corporately. He talks about when we come together, we address one another uh, in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Uh, he's not giving different categories, three different types of songs. I think he's addressing just the broad uh, variety of Christian singing. As we come across 2,000 years of church music, uh, we have a great variety of the best of the best to pull from, from 2,000 years of Christians uh, making melody to the Lord, uh, as Paul says here in this verse. So when we come together, we encourage one another singing God's word. Uh, we're also to give thanks uh, for everything in the name of God the Father and the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another out of reverence for one another. So what is that uh, out of reverence for Christ? Well, what does that look like? Well, he, he begins to tell us different relationships. Here's what it means to look like uh, a spirit-filled life as a husband and a wife. And then chapter 6, verses 1 through 4, as parents and as children. And then verses uh, 5 through 9, here's what it looks like to live the spirit-filled life in the workplace uh, between servants and masters. And then chapter 10, uh, I mean, chapter 6, verses 10 through 20, talk about the armor of God. So if we're going to live the spirit-filled life... Uh, Paul tells us to put on the armor of the Lord, to be strong in the Lord and put on the armor of the Lord. And I'm sure you've heard, uh, most of you heard sermons on these verses and teachings on this, these passages here. Uh, but this is, uh, we, we can't go into great detail here, but this is very important in the Christian life uh, to understand uh, how to put on the armor of God. So notice uh, who the real enemies are. Notice what our real weapons are uh, and, and contrast that with the message that the world gives us about uh, who our enemies are and what our, our weapons are. And so all of this uh, is very important as we uh, think about living a spirit-filled life as believers. Uh, here's a summary of today's reading. For more information, go to tunemyheart.org.